Greetings from Phantom's Gate. Dark Prince plays here. Let the curtains rise on another episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the last episode, I went to Lake Valor and found out that Team Galactic literally blew up the entire lake, leaving all the Magikarp to die. And also battled against Team Galactic. Oh yeah, we also came back here to Lake Verity. And in the last episode, we also battled against Galactic Commanders Saturn and Mars. So had a little bit of a rematch, which was much easier than the original battle. And also found out that Team Galactic stole... It, well, yeah, they basically just kidnapped the legendary Pokemon of the Three Lakes in Sinnoh. So this time, I'm going to be heading up north to the snowy area. The snowy area... Or, meant to say, like, snowy regions of Sinnoh, but I guess it is also an area. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this time. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure to... Do that before watching this one, so you're caught with everything that's happened up to this point. And if you're new, or I mean, well, I guess, yeah, also if you're new, if you do enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe so you got more Let's Play videos like this one. Now, first, now that I'm back here near Twinleaf Town and Sanjum Town, I do actually want to go back over this way. Surprised that I didn't run into anything. So now that we have Surf, I'm also able to go down here. I don't remember what's over here. I found an antidote. Uh, okay, I guess I just didn't come down here at all. Yeah, this area's been here the whole time, so... Uh, I don't believe there are any new Pokemon. I'll just surf for a little bit. Uh, there's some battles here. Oh, I also said that there were battles off-screen on Iron Island that I wanted to do. So I could trade up a particular Pokemon, and now that I have Velociterra on my team, uh, I do want to train him up, actually. There's a Wingle. Might as well use some of my Repels, then. Even though I could easily beat all these Pokemon. Actually, wait, what level are you? I might just battle you and then move on. Nah, it's not worth it. Okay. Repels. Oh wait, oh wait no, super repel. Since we don't have max repels yet. I don't want to fight the trainers yet. Uh, can I squeeze? I can't. You are going to be super annoying. Uh, okay. Bottle of Carbos. I don't exactly remember what's down here. I know you don't ever really have to... Oh. You don't really ever need to come down here, actually. Uh, rep two. Oh, no. Are you a spinner? You are a spinner. Is this a dead end? It's over here. I think you're just a spinner. Yeah. Do I have to battle against you? Oh, are you a double battle? No. Uh. Oh, wait. Are you a spinner? Ah. Okay, fine. I'll the <laughs> Okay. Battle both of you, why not? I bought, an, I bought a new bikini. It's this year's newest model. What it works. Get set. <laughs> I just love the calming music and then just. <laughs> Swimmer Claire and whatever your name was. Swimmer Eric. Well, this. Did I heal? I don't think I healed. That would just ended off the last episode and then started a new one. Bruh. It's taking so long. We haven't even done... We haven't even attacked each other. Ugh. Yeah. I have to go heal.
Dragon Chan leveled up, so I guess that's definitely worth something. Worth. But Lost of Terror should also level up from this, I would imagine. Cool. Uh, I must have hurt. I, well, my leg cramped up. I think he's just feeling things in the wrong areas. I don't know. So, uh, don't spin. Okay. Good. We got it. The bottle of protein. That's physical attack, right? I think. I also think that there's something over here. Uh, I don't know the encounters in this area, unfortunately, because I'm dumb and I didn't put it in. Not my bulb, or my, not my bulbapedia, my, um, my notes. I didn't really plan to come here, I just figured since I was here. Hang on. We'll fix this injustice. Are there any new Pokemon of interest over here? I don't know if I went over Pseudo Udo, but he's over here and he's a Shining Pearl exclusive. Uh, ooh, you can catch West Sea Gastrodon. I know you can catch East Sea Gastrodon over uh, near Sunny Shore City. Ugh. Maybe I'll show this off later. You are a house. What is in the house? I kind of forgot what was over here exactly. I shot sure, today's number is three. Show me a Pokemon that's level three if you can. I'll reward you. Do I have a level three Pokemon? I doubt it. Uh, if I level up Mew, like two levels exactly. I remember seeing a clip where Chugga Con Conroy came to this house, I guess. And the number was 98, so we had to bring a level 98 Pokemon. Uh, oops. I don't know what this guy gives you, though. Win items for me. Black Belt. Ooh, powers up fighting type moves. Expert Belt. Powers up moves if they're super effective. Focus Sash. The bear avoids a one-hit KO if its HP is full. Uh, ooh. I have two rare candies, so I totally could. Uh... so tempting. Focus Sash is really good, but at the same time... Mm. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go catch a Bew for a Starly. I'll edit this out. But mo I'll edit out the process of me going back. Also, I'll heal. I'll see you guys when I catch whatever I decide to get and then I'll just cut back to me at the old man's house yes level three okay probably won't keep it in but I was like complaining about how I got three level two Pokemon in a row when the Pokemon here could be either either level two or three so whatever but I got the Starly and now I can go all the way back to get the belt in <laughs> Two, one, one, one. Okay. Starly, the Starling Pokemon, a normal and flying type. They flock in great numbers, though small. They flap their wings with great power. I will not. Oh wait, no, no, no. Ah, oh, I was gonna nickname him Belt. Oh well, that would've been funny. Also, I had to go on the bike because nothing was spawning. And now for me to go all the way back out to the old man's house. I can't believe I made it. The propel doesn't wear off. I think I'll be fine. Just a little walk to his house. Made it. Okay, cool. Okay. And now... Get my new Starly that I caught specifically for this. Uh, your Starly is level three. We'll all be how remarkable. Oh, that was like the most underwhelming one. Uh, thank you for the visual, the visual treat with this black belt. Okay, so as the sign said, black belt will boost the power of fighting type moves. 
hold the Pokemon will not remain so, for they can only grow. Those youngs are coming again tomorrow. Okay, whatever. I was kind of hoping we either get the Expert Belt or the Focus Sash, but that's fine too, I guess. Okay. Now that I wasted my time, and now and I don't want to. Okay, it's one battle. Fine. Did, oh god, we're we'll running into something I didn't actually. Are you a trainer or are you an NPC? Eh, same thing. You are a trainer. You're going to Ramanas Park. It's not right that you that you let to go uh, that you get to go before a collector like me. Uh, Collector Ivan, what do you have? Hippopotas, okay. <laughs> it is good, though, that I'm fighting all these trainers. Like, it doesn't really matter if it's on screen or not. It's just, it's a good thing that I'm fighting them because it'll make filling up the national decks much, or the, the uh, Sinnoh decks much easier. In fact, I haven't even checked it in a while, huh? I flinched. Kind of... Well, actually, that kind of makes sense, because Hippopotas is supposed to be more of a tanky Pokemon. I assume the rest of those Pokemon are going to be either Rock or... Rock, Ground, or Steel. Otherwise, that wouldn't make any sense. Aw, uh, do you have a full Hippopotas team? That's lame. I haven't used Allison in a while. How re how radiant, how elegant! You shall die to her beauty. Use Giga Drain. Cool. Lost a character to level twenty-five. I assume you have a third Hippopotas, yet. Why do you have all ma male Hippopotas? Do you think he had a both male and female? Because the female one does have a different color pattern. Looks like she's finishing off the battle with full HP. Sandstorm only damages you if there's, like, more turns to do in the battle. Sandstorm didn't matter! Okay, it kind of did, but not really. You're one enthusiastic trainer. I completely changed his voice. It, it's fine, though. I woo, do not want to battle you. Ramanas Park, a place for new beginnings. Ramanas Park isn't open yet. We're still setting up. We're still getting Ramanas Park ready. I wonder what you could do there. They're building a thing. They don't even know what it can do. I kind of forgot what it is, but I do remember that I think I did look up Ramanas Park, and this is like one of the first locations I ever saw in Sinnoh. It's pretty cool, I guess. I also suppose we're going to have to remember that for later. Oh well. I guess we could also fly back to Eterna City, but I haven't really checked out this area yet that's between Celestic Town and Mount Coronet. Uh, there isn't really a reason for me to heal. I am so dumb. I thought there were stairs right there. Okay, Route 211, there's not really any encounters of interest. I assume you're a trainer. Everywhere, I go everywhere with my knocked owl. We're gonna show you owl, owl best. Ha! I think this is also our first time seeing Knocked Owl. It is catchable soon, if you didn't want to catch a Hoot Hoot. Did you even caught Hoot Hoot? I'm not sure. All I know is that, in my opinion, Knocked Owl is kind of underwhelming. It does get unique attacks though, like Hypnosis and Confusion. I think it also gets other psychic attacks, huh? I guess it has that going for it. Rather than being more of a fast physical attacker like other regional birds. Oh, 
Oh, it gets hypnosis really late. I thought it got it sooner. But it does have psychic attacks, so that's pretty cool. We did our best. That's what matters, right? Oh, wait, no. Oh, you can. Great Marsh, right. You can also get it on... Is that where we are? Route 211? Yeah, you can also catch Hoot Hoot here. Never mind. You. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong! I'm strong! I'm strong! Am I really? No, I'm strong. I'm strong. Okay, I'm all good to go. Ah, you startled me good. Even though I turned my head around to look at you. I think you'll understand what I was doing. Uh, I think you'll understand what I, what I was doing when you see the move contained in these TMs. You retained TM-77s, which I believe is the TM Psycho? Let me explain how that move, move, works without, move works without getting too technical. Yes, okay, it is Psycho. Let's say your opponent raises its defense step, defense using Harden. Your Pokemon can use Psycho to get the same defense boost as its opponent. Basically, your Pokemon gets the same status boost as its target. So if you're against someone who's like setting up ridiculously with Swords Dance and whatnot, you can just use Psycho and copy it. We could have also used the Rock Smash, uh, Rock Smash to get by this guy, but might as well since he's here. Whilst exploring the ruins, I spotted a trainer. I must investigate. And of course, if we wanted to avoid everything, we could have just went in the grass. Bronzor, that's really underwhelming. Every. Team Galactic Commander and their mother owns a Bronzor at this point. I'm still kind of upset that Luxray isn't an electric and dark type. Because it totally could have been one. My investigation revealed the trainer to be tough. Oh, well. I got a strength boulder here. You d oh. I guess that wouldn't have avoided everything. Speed is a ninja's best weapon. Can you keep up? <clears throat> I know Harvey could. I was going to say something, but that would probably get this video age restricted somehow. It's a I guess I don't really have to lead with Nala anymore. I just did that because I knew uh, Saturn led with... Uh, led with the, what did he lead with? Galbat? I think he did. It was, that battle is just... I don't know. Nala grew level 47. So it should be at the level that you need to be at in order to get a Garchomp. I really don't know how I'm structuring my sentences right now. It's just all over the place. Yeah, speaking of Gulbat. Cool. I did a lot to conceal myself, too. You had, like, no money. What the heck? down there. Trainer tips. Even veterans can get lost inside of Mount Coronet. Trainers should check their supply of medicine and items before trying to venture through. What is in behind this tree? Imagine it's an item? Oh, you're a trainer. Are you... I think this is supposed to be a shortcut. I'll try to remember all the trainers I don't fight so I can just level up uh, Velociter off screen. Anything I do off screen, I'll just have to remember like, what happens. Just so, like, for when I record again. But anyways, now that we have strength, we can finally go back here. Down here? There's fog in the cave! So. Might as well use defog. Did I say that the one route was the only place in Sinnoh with 
fog. If I did, then I was really wrong. There might be another area with fog, but I don't think so, and also Bag of Stardust. Okay. Uh, this. Okay. So, now that we've reached a new area of Mount Coronet, we do have access to more Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon that are stronger than the ones we were able to find before, so... You can find evolved forms of Pokemon that we've been able to find up to this point, so you can find Pokemon like Golbat, Clefairy, Metacham, Macho, Graveler, and Bronzong. Actu actually, I think Bronzong you can find in the wild later, but here, there's a pretty... Oops. Should have also put up repels, too. Did I put up repels? I don't think I did. If I did, then I just totally forgot. But anyways, in that lake, there is a pretty rare Pokemon you can get. And it's Feebas. So, Feebas is essentially a... Ooh, a bag of soft sand. <laughs> Feebas is a bag of soft sand. But anyways, that item boosts the power of ground-type moves, and I did not put up a repel. I just got really like <gasps> Clefairy! I'm gonna catch it. I won't use it, but I like Clefairy. Oh, look at you. Okay, anyways. Feebass is essentially a rare version of... Oh, you are high level. Uh, I'm... Fight is resisted, so... That was a good move of me. Gravity? It's a move that allows Pokemon with Levitate and... Just flying Pokemon to get hit with ground attacks. But Feebass, as I'm trying to say, is essentially a rare version of Magikarp with... If, oh, you... I'm not gonna make this easy, are you? You are not. As I'm trying to catch this Clefairy because I like Clefairy. Vibas is really weak and has the exact same level up moveset as Magikarp. So it starts off with Splash. Actually, it should be kind of high leveled at this point. So it has Splash. Its first attack move is Tackle, and if you wait an unreasonable amount of time, you can get it to learn Flail. Yay! Can Feebas learn TMs? I actually didn't check that. Um, wow, you can... Feebas can actually learn quite a few TM moves. What the heck? Yeah, Feebas, it's just fast, kind of fast, and rare. Um, okay, I'll go over how to evolve it first. Uh, Clefairy, the fairy Pokemon, a fairy type. Fairy, fairy, fairy. Thought to live with, uh, thought to live with others on quiet mountains. It is popular for its adorable nature. I'm gonna name you, I wanna see how to spell this first. You want context then comment asking for it because i'm not going to give you context you'll be guessing forever -ha. anyways so in order to evolve the bass uh, okay might as well put up my repels now i was just getting super lucky up to this point so feebass can only be evolved by it's kind of weird you have to give it a high beauty stat, which is, if you recall back when we were making Poppins, those, I used those to raise the stats of Allison, so we could do the beauty contest. Basically, you just um, do that for Feebas, get it to a high beauty, and it will evolve into Milotic, which is essentially a special counterpart to Gyarados, so pretty strong, and... Yeah, it's also especially bulky. However, getting Feebas is kind of hard, because yeah, it can only be found here in Mount Coronet on, in this lake. However, it only 
And you can only get it by fishing, by the way. It, you can use whatever fishing rod you want. It won't matter. The thing with Beebass... Ooh, Max Elixir. I think that... I'm, like, all over the place. Oh. Um, restore all of the moves. Yes. Okay, cool. So the thing with Feebass, it has a 50% chance of being fished up. And you might be thinking, well, that's not very rare. Get this. It only spawns on four tiles on this entire lake. You heard me. Tiles. Like, this is one tile, this is another, this is another, this is another. Four random tiles on this entire lake, and apparently it changes every day. So, if you really want a Feebass, you're going to have to just work for it. There it is. Okay. Oh, so much to talk about, damn it. So, yeah, you're going to have to work for a Feebass if you really want one on your team. And, yeah, but... Honestly, my Lodic isn't that bad. You will have to kind of deal with the hassle of finding a Feebass. Okay, oops. And also trying to raise it, which isn't that hard. Really, if you just focus on giving it a high beauty stat and then level it up one level, you will have easy access to a Milotic. Uh, ooh, a full restore that heals HP completely and also... Um, heals any status conditions. Now, personally, I prefer Gyarados just because it's much like, more common and easy to find and just because I've used Gyarados, but Milotic could do your team good, uh, potentially. And we made it to Route 216. We made it to the snowy regions of Sinnoh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, back in the cave, I I obtained an item called the the Light Clay. An item to be held by a Pokemon. Protective moves like Light Screen or Reflect will be effective longer. So I do want to give that to Liberty since... I do want Liberty to be more of a supportive Pokemon. And since it has both Reflect and Light Screen, this will be very handy to have. Yeah, that, that was an item I was referring to possibly being found in the Grand Underground, but I guess not. I didn't actually know it could be found there. And I'm kind of out of time for today, so... Yeah, um, is there any... Aha! Full heal. I had a feeling. Yeah, since I'm kind of out of time right now, I guess I'll see... You. End off the episode here. So next time on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I'll trek through the snowy routes of Sinnoh all the way up to Lake Acuity. So, and also go over the new Pokemon that can be found here because there are a couple new ones. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And... Goodbye!